Let me ask you guys something. How many of you guys have already quit your New Year's resolution? Or how many of you have quit uh, a goal that you set but never completed because you quit? How many, huh? Probably all of you. Ha in, in one way or another have quit something that you made a goal for yourself and stopped. Okay? But, let me say this. Why? Why did you quit? Was, it, was the goal that you made for yourself too hard? Was, were you just flat out too lazy? Uh, did you just not feel like it for one way or another? The only real exception is for things out of your control, such as our gym goal. Um, we couldn't do that because we didn't have any money. But you, even for things like that, you could probably make it work by, you know, like finding a way to make money or something. But I'm talking about the, the except, the, the, the main reasons why people quit their goals, and that's because of themselves. Whether they were too lazy, whether they didn't feel like it, which kind of goes together with the lazy part. You know, whatever the reason is. I'm mainly talking about the two, 2015 New Year's resolution. You can restart it, or can unquit or whatever the word would be for not for choosing not to quit after you already quit but who says that you can't that you can't re recontinue your goal that you decided to stop doing or maybe even you you already quit the 100 day challenge that I did 100 day challenge yes 100 day challenge now hunger games hundred day challenge that I did what was it seven days ago how many of you quit that or or how many of you didn't even start it my hundred day challenge is a it was a health challenge um, it wasn't a weight loss challenge it's a health challenge trying to do something more than you w normally do otherwise so for example if you work nine to five go home, sit and watch the TV two hours while eating junk food. Instead, work nine to five, go home, sit and watch TV for an hour and a half, and then jog for half an hour. Something that you wouldn't have already have done. Um, by the way, look at the, look at the sky, it's all beautiful. Anyway, so I'm saying, like, everybody quits or at least doesn't do as good as they can. Everybody does. You don't need, you're not like an exception. Everybody does. You don't have to be hard on yourself because you did. It's what you do with the failure that matters. Like I said in my other video. It's, that's the most important. If you use that failure pick yourself back up and continue that's what's important that's what you need to do don't use the failure to keep failing don't just quit and then just at the end of the year say oh I never completed my resolution and then like make it as a resolution for the next year do it now make it so that at the end of this year you can say that you completed your New Year's resolution the year that you made it. Make it, you know, make it important. If you quit, this is, this is what you need to do. Every time you think about quitting or you already quit, every day that you start doubting yourself or start not feeling like it, think about the same feeling that you had when you decided to make that goal in the first place. Those feelings of bettering it I'm, I'm using the health challenge as an example because there's other challenges that people quit such as making more money for the year or whatever but as as an example the health challenge 
you made that goal, what, what were you feeling? You were feeling like, oh man, I'm going to be so much more healthy. In some cases, I'm going to breathe better. Um, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to be able to move better. I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be, I'm going to be able to run faster or run for a longer period of time or whatever it may be, right? You have all those feelings. And then you just, you, for whatever reason, you decide to quit or to postpone it or for whatever. Um, if you always remember that first feeling of why you made that goal in the first place it will try just use yourself as a motivation uh, something that I always uh, made the mistake of is I always relied on other people as motivation for example Shay Carl um, he had a uh, he has a Shay Loss cha channel and um, I only got motivated when he made a video and when he started uh, losing motivation and not making the videos. I started losing motivation and not making the videos. That's the worst thing you can do is to rely on other people for motivation because if they lose motivation you lose motivation and you already have the chance of losing motivation on your own even if they keep their motivation. So you're doubling your chance of failure. Instead rely on yourself and, f and try to um, come up with ways to stay motivated on your own if you don't have, if you can't rely on an outer motivation such as somebody else. Or if you can, make sure that you have other ways of motivating yourself in case that way doesn't go through. So, that, that's my tip. Uh, that's what I'm saying because like, I haven't done the best with this 100 day challenge so far. I've probably, mo most of the days of this week, I've eaten more junk food uh, than days that I haven't had any. So, I haven't even done the best, but at least I'm not quitting. I'm still doing more than I would have otherwise. So, that's, that's the main thing. Uh, 2015 can still be your year. No matter what you can still make 2015 your year. Even if you didn't even make a resolution, make one now and work on it. And by the end of the year, you can say that you beat your New Year's resolution. You accomplished it. Whatever it may be. If you didn't join my 100 day challenge, join it. Who says they, who says you can't start late? Do it now. Work, do what I said. Work on it to where you do more things than you would have, um, than you would have before. Whether you, it means you take 10 minutes out of your day to go for a walk. Something that you, that you would have otherwise, otherwise never done. So, that's what I say. You can choose to ignore it. You can choose to, to, to keep doing what you, what you always do, keep having the same normal or your version of normal life. You know, that could be fine. Some of you may actually be dying because of it if you're over, like obese or don't have a job like me. Uh, but some of you may be completely fine without having a resolution or anything. But everybody could be better than what they are now. No matter if you're obese and you need to lose weight and you need to get to a healthy weight so you don't have a heart attack early on or whether you're, I don't know, relying on welfare to stay in your house um, because you aren't trying hard enough to get a job or maybe even not even trying at all something you know like I could even I could even listen to my own tips because 2015 is still going to be my year I may have lost sight of that at first but 2015 is still gonna be my year I am going to make sure that I'm gonna be better off the end of this year than how I started do the same Trust me.
you need to do this. Use me as an example. You need to do this. Make as make multiple goals to complete if, if you think that you can can do multiple at once. Or just do small goals and complete each one um, as you go. Something. Do something that will better off your life at the, by the end of the year than you would have if you didn't. So, I don't know. Choose to listen to it. Uh, you can choose not to listen to me, but if you choose to listen to me and you stay motivated and you listen to those tips, I guarantee you, you will be better off and you will thank, you don't thank me, you don't, you don't need to thank me. You will thank yourself for actually listening to what I said. You'll thank yourself for actually listening to yourself when you start losing motivation and you remember how you felt when you first made that goal of, I want to lose weight, I'm going to do it, and then you start losing motivation and then you remember why you made that goal in the first place because you want to look better you want to feel better so just trust me listen to what I say listen to this listen to yourself listen to the good part the inner part of yourself that's begging you to be a better version of yourself than you are now you won't regret it I'm gonna have some prune juice now